Hello everyone, welcome, I hope you're doing well. Excuse the awkward angle, I'm standing on my toes, because uh, this is a little, a little too high for me. <laughs> anyway, I have a book collection and bookshelf tour video up on my channel already. It's from very late October, and I really didn't expect when I was filming that one that I would be filming this one, and that too so soon. Um, so it's a little bit... It's a, yeah. I wouldn't normally put up a bookshelf tour slash book collection video this close to a previous one. But basically the situation is this. I have to swap out this bookcase with another bookcase. A bookcase that's a little wider and apparently also a little taller. It's going to be just a little bit different. So at some point you'll stop seeing this bookcase and you'll start seeing something that looks different. And this is basically the explanation as to why. I figure I record it and share it with you guys even though it's sooner than I expected it to be. Um, I hope that's okay. So yes, I have to swap out this bookcase with another one, which means that I need to take all the books off of this bookcase, and then we need to actually swap the bookcases, and then I need to put my books back onto the new bookcase. I feel like this will be a two-day project. Um, today, I think I'm just going to be emptying the shelves and then doing the bookcase swap, and then tomorrow I'll spend time organizing the shelves. I don't know how I'm going to organize the bookcase that I'm changing it to. We'll see. The bookshelf that I'm swapping this one with, I really don't like the way it's structured. The spacing of the shelves is really weird and it doesn't really work with the books I have. So I'm gonna have to see how I end up doing that. But, but that's a problem for tomorrow because this is a two-day project. Today is just the removal of the books and the bookcase swapping, and then tomorrow I'm going to be organizing the new one um, and I'll, I'll figure out what I want to do, how I want to do it, and you guys will see the process and end result. For now, um, we're just gonna be removing the books off of the shelves. Let's go! So, the bookshelf is now empty, there are no books, sadly. There are a few things that look as sad as an empty bookcase, don't you think? And then there's the books. I mean, isn't it so weird how when your books are on your bookshelf, it doesn't look like nearly this many, but the second you take them off and start piling them, it looks like you have nothing but books. Needed to use a chair because I didn't want them on the floor. These had empty bookshelf over my shoulder um, will be going and another one will be coming in and then uh, tomorrow I think I'm gonna take to organizing it. I'm gonna have to problem solve a little bit but we'll take on the challenge.
So yeah, me and my books will see you all tomorrow. So this is the replacement. The thing that annoys me the most is that this one, so this shelf and this one um, are stuck. They're, on, they're shelves that you can't remove because they don't have a lot of the really small, like really small books. I have most of my books are standard 19.8 centimeters or bigger. And in that case, I think what I'm gonna have to end up doing is either take out one or two shelves entirely. Moving around the shelves, the spacing, it just doesn't work. It doesn't work in a way that um, doesn't bother my brain. So it also really bothers me that all of the shelves that you can move have this little, this little thing and the two shelves that you can't don't that also really bothers me so i might just cut out two of the shelves and then use the two shelves and use the things these things that belong to the two shelves that i'm removing underneath um the ones that don't move i don't really know what to uh what to do i'm gonna try a few things and then i'll see you guys tomorrow when i start um actually putting my books back but for now i'm just gonna have to think about it try out a few options so it's a new day i need to sort out this and this situation i love reorganizing my bookshelf but it's a lot of work i don't really know how i'm going to do this um i don't know how i'm going to organize i'm gonna try out a few things see what works but i'm just kind of gonna wing it and see how it goes see what i end up doing anyway i'm gonna get to it so i'm gonna pop in every once in a while probably to mention a book that i've picked up and I'm dealing with. Do any of you know this? I found this author on Instagram. She's been putting out some books with her drawings and they're really really fun. Wait, let me show you one. Here. Don't you relate? It's great. It's a lot of fun. I've forgotten about this. Remember in that, um, in the first uh, Goodreads bookish questions, and it was about annotation? I forgot that I'd tabbed this book to oblivion. Um, I haven't written anything in it, not even highlighted or underlined, but I have tabbed it to pieces, so I forgot to mention that. I have the worst memory in existence, if that wasn't already, like, obvious. But this is the only other book that I've tabbed, I'm pretty sure. Really, really loved this book, by the way. It's really, really good.
So this is what it looks like right now. What I've done is I've put, as you can see, there are fewer shelves now than there were when I showed you the empty bookshelf. I removed a couple because I really, really dislike the spacing. Um, and so I'd rather have this situation. So what I did was I've put all of my unread books here. As you can see, there are a lot. And um, all of my read books on the other shelves. This bottom here, if you remember from the last bookshelf, um, I had a space here for a bunch of stuff that wasn't really relevant, but it needs to go back there. I'm not sure if I like this split, but we're going to go with it, see how, see how it works out. So I think I've finished this bottom shelf. I've put all of my manga here. Whether it's red or not doesn't matter. All of it's here. Um, and then this is the stuff that I didn't show you guys. Just a bunch of stuff from my childhood. Some Christmassy stuff. Just some like magazines and things like that. And then these two books are also books that I've had from my childhood. I remember nothing. The Tale of Despero and Time Stops for No Mouse. I read these when I was like 10 years old. Um, and I am attached to them even though I remember nothing. And then there's all of my manga. So, bottom shelf. Pretty much done for now. We'll see if anything ends up changing. Alright, this is my books I haven't yet read <laughs> shelf, which is... Um, wow. There are a lot of books that I haven't read yet. This here is my priority space, and then I've tried to split them into genres. Honestly, though, this just motivates me. I have a lot of unread books, and I can't wait to read them. This has got me really excited, actually. Now, having finished, temporarily, this TBR shelf, and also my manga shelf with this stuff, um, I have this shelf and these two shelves left, and I don't really know how I want to organize it. I'm going to try and do it by genre. I'm also going to try and collect authors. So instead of spreading out the books um, of the same author all over the place, I'm going to try and collect them together. I'm going to start there and then we'll see how this goes.
Okay, so, so far I think it's going pretty well. I still have some books that need to find space, but it's, it's, it's coming along, it's coming along fine. Um, I just need to work with height rather than having a lot of, a lot of shelves. Um, but it's coming along pretty well. I'm quite satisfied with what I've done so far. I just need to find some more space. Basically, these are the non-fiction books that I have. And then here we go into historical fiction of all kinds. I like it. What's going on here is basically we have mysteries of various kinds and to various degrees meets romance. Um, which is an interesting, an interesting mix, but... I don't know if I showed you this shelf, but this one I'm pretty happy with. This is fantasy, or basically the books that I associate most with fantasy, because a lot of I, I have a lot of books that cross genres, and it's hard to sort them. So I'm basically just going with what I feel I attach most to the series, um, and that's basically what this. I mean, it's not going to be perfect, right? There's going to be some, like for example, the Invisible Life of Adi Larue. I don't really think it fits in here, but. I, I don't know, I didn't want to put it in historical fiction because most of the book plays out today. I don't know, it felt decent to put it here. Um, the Last Magician is also about time travel, so I don't know, it felt like it suited this shelf. These are the books that I have left to put on my shelf. They're all like sci-fi, dystopia. This one is like, like steampunk. And this one's horror. And I don't know how to categorize this one. So I don't know. I think I'm just gonna have to spread them out where I think they fit the best on the shelves I've already got. I don't know. 